This is Miss Andrea from Not Another Homeschool Vlog. And today's message is for high school juniors um, regarding getting your college applications done. If you or your child is a high school senior and it is now November 19th and you haven't done college applications, you have put yourself at an enormous disadvantage. Not saying that your child cannot apply at this point in time and get into college. What I'm saying is that the kids, um, what I am saying is that my phone is ringing. So we'll start over. Hello again, this is Miss Andrea. And um, I just got off the phone with one of my public school um, parents. I not only teach homeschoolers and counsel homeschoolers, write their homeschool portfolios to get them into college with scholarships, but I also help public school parents um, who aren't really getting what they need from their guidance counselors and how can they, um, because there are just a couple of guidance counselors per school and many of those guidance counselors serve more than one school. So unless your child is in the top five or 10% of the class, they're not gonna get the guidance counseling they need to get into college. Now, what happens when they're not getting the guidance counseling that they need to get into college? First of all, um, I've had so many high school seniors get called to the guidance office for the guy for the guidance counselor to say it's time for you to take your PSAT. The PSAT needs to be taken in the 11th grade. So somehow they miss what grade the kids are in altogether. Not only does the PSAT have to be taken in the 11th grade, which is why I'm talking to juniors. The PSAT should be taken in the 10th grade for the first time. No one is going to tell you to have your children to take the PSAT in the 10th grade. If your kids are lucky, they'll hear about it in the 11th grade. The reason to take it in the 10th grade is so that they will become acclimated to the test. Um, the second time or third time a child sees a test, they're more relaxed about it and they're going to naturally get a higher score. Okay, um, so when they take that one that counts in the 11th grade, that goes through national merit. And if they score a certain percentage, now they're automatically um, able to get certain scholarships at certain schools. Um, and they're just going to be more eligible for scholarships overall. So this is why we can't start thinking about applying to college, I don't know, in December of 12th grade. And I've had so many so many relatives, mostly male, um, start applying for college in December, January, February, March of 12th grade. And then, you know, they have all this anxiety and all this angst as all their friends know where they're going. And then they go, I didn't get accepted. I don't know why I didn't get accepted. Because you're late. All the spots have been taken. You apply too late. Now, surprise for me, this year when I started getting my students ready to apply by Thanksgiving, I like everyone's application out by Thanksgiving. I found out that a lot of the early um, enrollment applications were now due October 14th. So we can't wait till senior year to start thinking about this anymore. We need to come out of our junior year having taken the PSAT and having taken the SAT or the ACT and, and or um, three times to maximize that score. My recommendation that no one likes is you take the SAT and you take the ACT. You compare those scores. There are tons of aggregators online to tell you that this SAT score means this and ACT 
number. So this ACT score equates to that SAT score. You decide which one you did better in, and you also decide which one was more painful or easier for you to take. And the one that you did better in, and hopefully that is also the one that was easier for you to take, you take that one two more times. This preparation is imperative to um, smooth sailing when it comes to application time. And so if you have not applied yet, we are coming up on Thanksgiving week. You have work to do if you're a senior. You really need to be done by this weekend. There's the Common App. Just go do it. The hardest thing is going to be the essay. You can submit the Common App and then you can go to your guidance counselors and just poke them and say, hey, I sent out applications to these schools. Can you make sure my reference letters go out? Same thing. You go to your favorite teachers and you say, hey, I sent out applications to these schools. Um, can you make sure they go out now? I would love to spend a day on live or a couple of hours on live just answering college admission questions. Um, this is my forte. This is what I'm good at. Whether your kid is homeschooled, which is my expertise, or whether they go to public school, because I have children in uh, Boston Conservatory that went to public school. I have kids in Embry-Riddle. Um, I have a kid in Europe right now. Just get at it. Um, so let me know. Let me know how I can serve you in this area. This is very important to me and I think it is very important to you. And I would like to do more work in this area. So meanwhile, my homeschool program is going well. Um, it's been emotionally stressful and hard. I have some kids who didn't want to be homeschooled. Um, it is really hard to homeschool kids who don't want to be homeschooled. Um, but you know, the whole COVID situation and then whatever came afterwards, them falling back academically kind of necessitated it. Not the funnest. Um, we are expanding our thousand square feet to 2000 square feet over the holidays. Um, we are trying to, um, get our history curriculum, our first volume launched January 1st. And we're trying to raise money for scholarships because homeschooling, um, running a homeschooling program is not cheap and we are not for profit. We are trying to make sure that people who can't under normal circumstances afford homeschooling are still able to homeschool. So that's it for today. I hope I alarmed you a little bit and have you guys ready to launch into college applications. Whether your child is a senior right now, we need to get the first round of applications out, especially all the early decision ones. Well, we've missed early decision in a lot of areas, but get some applications out um, this week by Thanksgiving. Have all the rest out by January. And, and honestly, all the due dates are January. There's a couple in March, but the chances of getting into those are so much lower because now everyone's rushing to those last colleges is low. If you're a junior or a sophomore, talk to me. I would really love to do a recorded Zoom, recorded Zooms with anyone free because I charge $25 an hour in person. But if someone wants to get on Zoom with me and let me record the session, then, you know, I'll just put that on my YouTube and we'll do it for free. I want to try that with maybe one to three people and see how that goes. So hit me up. Let me know what you think. Until next time.